We have had five cases go to intensive care units. It is so contagious. We have issued a blanket order. People die of the measles. And there's cases in California. A measles outbreak. Oregon and Washington. Is sweeping the country. There's cases in Colorado and there's cases in Arizona. And pediatrician Dr. Bill Cosgrove. And right now Utah is kind of surrounded. Has a warning. Do you think when it comes to Utah and measles is not a question of if but when? I expect that it will come here to Utah. And there is reason for concern. Beyond the Books has discovered there is an alarming number of schools across the state where more than 20% of the kids are not vaccinated, some with non-vaccination rates as high as 50%. And at last count, 78% of students at Lumen Scholar Academy had not been vaccinated for mumps, measles, and rubella. Are you concerned about a possible outbreak amongst your students? We're always concerned about the safety of our students. Lumen's now. director, Jonathan Seal, says this is an online school, so these kids are not at risk. But beyond the books has learned, Lumen's kids are required to come to this facility at least once a week. So at any given time, there are dozens of unvaccinated kids crammed into this small building. If a measles case walks into a room, 90% of the people in the room are going to get that virus. It is so infectious. Because of the lack of vaccination. 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 Take measles seriously. So how did we get here? Well, in Utah, it is surprisingly simple to get a vaccination exemption. In addition to medical and religious waivers, Utah is one of only 17 states that grant exemptions for philosophical beliefs. In fact, of the 5,485 exemptions granted for school year 2018, 97% of them were for personal reasons. And in recent years, Utah lawmakers have made it even easier for kids to get vaccination waivers. And we have no way of knowing uh, whether it's going to come to our state next. State Representative Norm Thurston sponsored a bill that changed state policy. The old rules required a parent to go to their local health department to get a waiver with hopes of a health care professional convincing parents on the fence about vaccinations to get their child immunized. But Thurston's bill allows parents to get their waiver online after watching a short video. That means no more face-to-face -face visits with experts. You opposed forcing or requiring parents to go to the health department. Yeah. Why was that? Uh, mostly it was a matter of convenience. It can have serious consequences. But that convenience, says Representative Carol Spackman Moss, who's been trying for years to tackle Utah's high vaccination rate, is making matters worse. Exemptions are going up, not at a rapid rate, but they're going up. Moss is correct. Beyond the Books has found that since Thurston's bill became law just eight months ago, the number of unvaccinated kids in Utah schools has jumped by about 270 students. Well, his bill just made it easier to get an exemption. It's an affront of parental responsibility. And Thurston, who incidentally works for the Utah State Health Department, says he supports vaccinations, but also supports parent choice. And he adds, immunizations are not a cure-all. Outbreaks are going to happen, no matter what we do. But it's even less likely to happen if, if everybody's vaccinated, right? Well, so if, if everybody's vaccinated, we, it could still happen, because vaccinations do not provide 100% uh, coverage, right? Right, 97%. 97%. It's an extremely skilled virus, skilled at finding a new host. Tonight, Dr. Cosgrove says Utah is a likely candidate for the next measles outbreak. Representative Thurston says if it happens, we can just shut our doors and wait for it to pass. If we do have a measles outbreak, you know, knock on wood, yeah. um, how will you personally feel about that? I mean, you're, in a lot of ways, you're the guy who made this possible for folks. Stay away from anywhere where there might be a mumps outbreak. Just, just stay home. Stay home, close the doors, don't let anybody in or out until things can calm down.